Oh, it didn't scoot as much as I wanted it to. Hello YouTube, my name is Sophia Metropolis. You may notice that I have two lavalier mics strapped to myself, and that's because today I am reviewing budget audio for YouTube. This is a pretty new YouTube channel. You may notice that I have very few subscribers, very few views. We're growing the channel, it's fine, <laughs> but I actually have a pretty extensive background in film. So I wanted to make this video to show other relatively new small YouTubers how to improve your audio. The general rule of thumb in the world of creating video is that people will forgive bad video, but they will not forgive bad audio. Your audio is actually significantly more important than the quality of your video. Even if you don't have a camera and you're filming on your phone, whatever your option is, there are so many ways to improve your audio and to make it better. All of these options are very affordable, certainly some more than others, but you'll see the differences as I switch through them. So the first one that we're going to start with is the built-in mic on my camera. I have a Sony Alpha 6400. You're going to hear that now. So now you're listening to me with the audio straight from the Sony a6400. It's not amazing, but it's actually not that bad. The Sony a6400 has a pretty decent built-in microphone, but you can hear it's not very directional towards me. The next audio we're going to switch to is this one on my shirt. This mic is a $17 lav mic from Amazon that is plugged straight into my phone. So as you can see, it's recording in my voice memos on my phone. I have some complaints about this one. First of all, I Obviously the dongle is not ideal and this cord is ridiculously long So I have never unwound it But for the most part all of my videos up until this point have been recorded with that despite this being relatively reliable for a while It's not my perfect setup. It is kind of annoying to have my phone Recording so I can't actually like do other things and there have been a couple times where it's cut out while I was working But that being said it is relatively good quality for the price. This is a really great option because for a very small amount of money, you can improve your audio just using your phone. But just for comparison, we're going to switch to this lavalier mic. So, ready? I actually don't really know how these two are going to compare, but now you're hearing the Asden mic on the Zoom Field Recorder. The awesome thing about the Zoom Field Recorder is that it has a gain knob. Now, for comparison, I'm going to take the mic out of my iPhone 7 Plus, which is a little old, but you know, whatever. We're talking budget audio, so you know, we don't all have iPhone X's. So really quickly, we're gonna switch back to the iPhone lav mic. Here we are on the iPhone lav mic, and I'm gonna take the lav out of the phone. So I took the mic out of my phone, and now we're just recording in voice memos by itself. This is a great option for if you're running around and you don't have a mic on you. It sounds a little bit better than the built-in mic, but comparatively, it's not amazing. Another option you can do is you can put a sock over this so that it works kind of like a pop filter, but this is pretty close to me. Now I've put my phone on top of my camera lens, which is sitting on a tripod, so it's not a super reliable place, but at least it's kind of posted up so I can just talk and I don't have to hold it and you can't see it on screen. Let's switch back to the built-in mic on the camera real quick. The next audio that I wanna show you is the Zoom H1N just using the omnidirectional mic built into this. To be honest, this I think is the highest quality audio, but it is the most expensive that we are reviewing today. So I'm gonna pull this out and now we're using the internal mic. The great thing, oh yeah, oh that's good. The great thing about the Zoom Field Recorder is that you can use a headphone to hear how the gain is sounding. This is honestly the biggest benefit to using a field recorder. I could always plug my lavalier mic directly into my camera, but then I'm at a fixed distance from my camera and comparatively this cord is much shorter. This kind of mic is great for doing interviews or recording outside. You can kind of talk into it, have them talk into it. I'm also pretty sure this is the mic that Joanna Sedia uses because I've seen it in her back pocket in her videos. A lot of people don't like to record their audio separately from their camera, but for me personally, I don't mind it. I use Premiere Pro to edit and you can synchronize the audio in Premiere Pro. If you're using Final Cut, it also can do that. And I'm pretty sure even iMovie can do it. That way you always have the built-in audio on the camera as a fail safe. And for the most part, if I'm using the lavalier mic from my phone, I will turn the volume down from the built-in on the camera, but I won't actually delete it altogether because it does have a little bit of that ambient sound in the room. Now the Zoom Handy Field Recorder is resting on my camera. Again, this is not really a very good setup because it's not connected to my camera at all. A lot of people will use the Rode mics. I personally don't actually really like how they sound, so 
it is nice to have it built directly into your camera but frankly I record most of my videos at home so for right now this setup works really well for me the last one that I want to switch to just for comparison is gonna be these headphones connected straight to my phone I've seen videos where people use their airpods I don't have airpods but honestly I hate the way the airpods sound anytime you're recording audio corded versus Bluetooth is always going to be better. So AirPods usually have that little like choppy sound because their connection is through Bluetooth. So let's try these, plug these into my phone. Audio four. So this is just the regular Apple headphones that come with the phone connected to a dongle connected to the phone. It's not perfect, but it is a little bit better than some other options. Obviously it doesn't look great because I have a headphone in my ear, but if you were recording a voiceover or something, you could always just go at it. I also want to go over something really quick. So let's ditch this headphone and switch back to the field recorder really quick. There is something that I want to cover really quickly. This is the audio jack for the phone lavalier mic. To compare, this is the audio jack for the field recorder. If you notice, they do not have the same number of stripes around them. That means if I were to plug in the pop filter that's intended for my phone into my camera, it wouldn't actually record audio. That's because these mics serve different purposes. This is intended for audio gear and this is intended for phones. Another thing to point out is that having audio that is separate from the camera is really useful because you can go off frame and it can still record the audio. We're back on the external, we're back on the lav. So watch, I'm gonna leave the camera and you can still hear me. I'm gonna go all the way back here and you can still hear me. And that's because the mic is strapped straight into me and not into my camera. So even if I were outside or if I were filming elsewhere, I could just be all around. My personal favorite of all of these options is the Zoom field recorder by itself using the omnidirectional mic. I think this lav mic is decent. I don't think it's amazing. That being said, if you were to buy this lav mic brand new, it's only $24 compared to the phone mic that's $16 plus the dongle that's seven. The most expensive of all of these is of course, the field recorder. This field recorder brand new goes for about $115, but you also have to get a mini SD card, which I learned by the way, nobody mentioned this in any of the videos that I watched. The max size SD card you can put in this is 32 gigabyte mini SD card. However, I didn't know that. <laughs> I purchased the 64 gigabyte, but I was able to format it on my computer to a FAT32. So I actually can use it on this device, but it takes a lot longer to start up worth mentioning. Just for a quick comparison, we're on the lav mic right now. Let's switch back to the built-in camera. You can tell the difference. It's just not quite as crisp, not quite as focused on me. And just for one more comparison, I'm going to turn the air conditioner on in the background. So you can hear in the background, my air conditioner is on now and it probably added some ambient noise to the room. This is again, still on the built-in mic. Let's really quickly switch back to the field recorder just by itself using the omnidirectional mic. So that should actually sound a lot better, a lot more directional towards me. And if you switch in one more time, now we're in our lav mic one more time, it should be even closer. And again, having the gain dial on the audio is gonna be really helpful. Okay, wait, I'm gonna turn the air conditioner off. Since it's my favorite, we're gonna do one final switch back to the omnidirectional field mic. Okay, we're back on this guy. There's some really simple buttons on this and it's kind of nice to hold like, I mean, it looks dumb. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I recognize that it looks dumb to hold it like this, but we're just comparing the audio for right now. All of these options are really just scratching the surface of the world of audio, but they all are relatively affordable ways that you can improve your audio. So while you can get this device brand new for $115, I actually purchased this recorder with the Asden mic on eBay for only $80 secondhand. All of these options are really great for if you're a beginner and you're looking to improve your audio, but you don't want to spend a lot of money. Personally, I think that the investment into the field recorder is worth it. But that being said, I only made that purchase after my lav mic on my phone started to fail me. Honestly, I think if the iPhone still had a built-in audio jack, I wouldn't hate that setup so much but I think my dongle is where I was starting to have issues with connectivity and after like the third time of hitting record on a video and the audio completely not working for my phone even though it said it was recording, that's when I was like, I give in, I'm gonna purchase another option. So if you are a new YouTuber looking to improve your audio, hopefully one of these options is gonna work for you. And honestly, you will see 
that the quality of your audio really does make a difference in the quality of your film. Any video that has a really high quality audio versus a really difficult to hear, difficult to interpret, is always just going to be better. It's also really nice to be able to use a high quality microphone to record your own sound effects. So for example, I have a mouse click sound effect that I use in my videos. I actually recorded on my own mouse because I love Apple products and I wanted my mouse to sound... I wanted it to be a magic mouse click. I didn't want it to be like a PC click because because it, that's the kind of person that I am. But having a high quality audio really will make all the difference in making your videos that much more professional, even if they're filmed on a phone. So if you're at the point where you're filming all your videos on the phone, I would consider getting the lav mic for your phone. That way it's just slightly better than the built-in mic that the phone has already, and you can just build upon that. And you can record your whole video with that plugged in. The only thing you run a risk of there is if the dongle and the mic combination starts to fail, you might lose some footage. It is really important to be able to check up on your audio and make sure that it's still recording, which is why, again, I love the field recorder because you you can plug a headphone straight into that and double check. I think amazing audio or even good quality audio makes a difference. It totally is worth it and it improves the experience for your viewer tenfold, honestly. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what your mic setup is right now and which one you think you're going to test out and go for. If I reach a point where I end up changing my mics again, I will make a video about that as well. But so far. I think I'm sticking with this setup for a little while. I'm, I'm always down to put a field recorder in my pocket and have a lav mic strapped to me. If it's good enough for Joanna Sadia, it's good enough for me. I think that's pretty true. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. My name is Sophia Metropolis. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe. It really does help out my very brand new channel. I make new videos every Wednesday and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. You can count on that. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.